Hi, I'm Mary Ann Bonetti, and today I'm going to tell you uh, how to get your poinsettia to flower again and your calicoa to flower again. So I write a weekly gardening column for about 30 years now, and every January after Christmas, I get lots of questions about how to make their poinsettia plant flower again next Christmas. Um, same time, people give these calicoas as gifts, and once they're done blooming, you can see the faded flowers. People want these to flower again as well. And the answer is, after the holidays is over, if you have the calicoa, simply snip off the faded blooms. And I'm just take the scissors, go way down here where the stems are, and snip off these, these flowers that have already bloomed, because that is going to encourage this calicoa, which is a succulent, so don't overwater it, it likes bright light, does not like cold weather, uh, that's going to encourage new buds to form. So this one's kind of still flowering. But if you look down in here, there might not be any new buds. So what you want to do to encourage it to flower, the same way to encourage the poinsettia to flower again, is you have to understand that both of these are tropical plants that like warm winter climates. So if you live in Southern California, uh, maybe Florida, when your poinsettia has is, is been enjoyed indoors, you can simply transplant it outside as long as there's no frost. Same with your calicoa. Transplant it outdoors, enjoy it in a container garden outdoors. And then in the fall, uh, it would naturally start to uh, flower again. But most of the United States, most of the world, these plants are house plants. So here is the secret to getting them to flower again. Total darkness for 12 to 15 hours every single night for 10 weeks. After 10 weeks of total darkness, long, long nights of darkness, you trick the plant into thinking it's winter because it has long nights and short days. And this is what makes it flower again. So starting in September, because you're going to keep your, your uh, poinsettia alive as a house plant all winter long, and then you can go ahead and the flowers will be all faded and ugly, cut them back, and then you cover it. So, a lot of recommendations are that you cover it with a cardboard box. This won't work. I have tried this before. Why won't it work? Because look at a cardboard box has a hole in the seam. If even the tiniest bit of light works its way through that crack, it is going to stop the flower formation of the poinsettia. Why? Because these plants are so sensitive to light that even the one night that you forget to cover it, or the tiniest speck of light that hits that plant during the night hours when it's supposed to be solid black, stop the flowering process. So, some other people suggest stick it in a closet at night. Okay, well that will work if you have a closet that's empty enough to take your poinsettia plant and close the door. But if somebody opens that closet door just once during those 10 weeks when it must have total darkness, you'll ruin the whole process and you've done all your, your work for nothing. So the easy answer is a bucket. A bucket that will fit totally over your plant. So now you can leave your poinsettia plant, you know, where it sits in your living room, whatever, and you cover it every single night for 10 weeks starting in mid-September, and that way by, you know, Christmas time, it's flowering, and then in the morning, you remove the bucket and no light has gotten in. Same with your calicoa. You can just, starting in September, oops, you just cover your calicoa with the bucket, about 5 o'clock at night until about 8 o'clock in the morning, 10 weeks, uncover it every single morning. But what did I tell you? I have tried this before. And I have worked really hard, and I followed all the rules, and sometimes it doesn't really work that well as much. So, here's the practical answer. When your poinsettia is done flowering, Christmas is over, starts to get kind of rangy, not so attractive, float in the compost pile. Just go buy another poinsettia plant every December. This has been Mary Ambonetti. Easy answers for great gardens. Okay, so let's review. If you have a poinsettia right now, or a calicoa right now, enjoy them. As long as they're looking beautiful, wonderful houseplants. 
You want to, of course, keep the poinsettia soil moist. The calicoa is a succulent, so let the soil dry out. Then, when the flowers are all done, cut off the faded blooms. If this, for the poinsettia, when these flowers are all done, I would simply cut them off. Sometimes I do this even at um, uh, New Year's Eve. You can use them as cut flowers. So you cut the whole poinsettia plant back, use it as a house plant. It's not going to look very good all summer long. Then, September comes, you cover it with a bucket for 10 weeks, every single night, um, 5 o'clock at night till 8 o'clock in the morning, and then maybe, if you're lucky, your poinsettia is going to flower again. But it's going to be kind of tall and leggy because it wasn't growing in the greenhouse. So, practical advice here, when your poinsettia is done blooming, throw it in the compost pile, and when December comes again, buy yourself a new poinsettia plant. This is Mary Ann Benetti with Easy Answers for Great Gardens. If you enjoyed these gardening tips, subscribe to our channel so you can get updates on new videos and stay in the know about all things gardening. Click the red subscribe button below. See the description below. For more information about how to connect with us on plantersplace.com, Facebook, and Instagram.